Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us a super cool hidden tricks on how to fill contents and formattings across multiple worksheets. So let's get started. Now, in our sample data set, in the data sheet, I've got this data set. Now, this data set is officially stored as an Excel table. Now, you can see the table design contextual even tab. And of course, we can see all the formatting that is applied. And of course, in columns F and J, we can see all this formatting. So in columns F and J, we're going to use the formulas and some built-in functions to return the unique and sorted list of the regions. And of course, we're gonna use the sum ifs function to calculate the total sales by each of the region. And then we're gonna run the fill across multiple worksheets using the amazing group sheet technique. So without much talking, Let's dive in. In cell F2, I'm going to use the salt and the unique dynamic arrays function to return all the unique region from column B. So let's do that equal sign salt. And I'm going to type the unique function. And of course, for the array, now this data set is officially stored in an Excel table. So I can over my mouse at the top here and locate this black pointed arrow and just give it a one shot. And that's going to select all the entire data set down to the last cell below. So in the formula bar, you can see the name of the table, which is data. And of course, the name of the column is region. Okay, so I'm going to close the bracket twice. One for the unique formula and of course for the sort. So control enter. And of course, this gives me the sorted list of the unique regions. Okay, so in column G, I'm going to deploy one of the most amazing functions that I love to use in Excel, which is the sum ifs function. So equal sign sum ifs. Now the sum ifs function requires the sum range. So I will sum this column D to total, put in a comma. Now the criteria range one is going to be the many side of this region in column D, comma, and the criteria one, which is coming from the criteria range one, is going to be the, all this unique region here. So I'm going to click on the first cell and hold on the shift key and press the pound sign or the arch sign. This is a spill operator. So it's going to give me all the value within the list. It doesn't matter whether it becomes smaller or larger. So I'm going to close the formula and control enter. Now this gave me the total sales for each of the region. Now we can actually see that, that the best region in terms of total sales is the South region with 18,051 sales. Now I'm going to apply in all borders here. So click on this icon. Now you can see that we have applied some formatings here. That's amazing. Now let's go ahead and fill across the multiple worksheet now. now this is one of the techniques I love to use mostly in Excel, the group sheet technique. So now I'm currently in the data sheet. Now let me just walk you through the sheet two, three, four, and five. Again, you can see we have absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna to come to the data sheet and hold down the shift key and click on the sheet five. Now this automatically group all the sheets together. This implies that whatever change that I made in the active or the current data sheet, it's going to impact all the other sheets in the range. Now, if you look at the top of this, you know, Excel workbook, you can see group. So this automatically tells us that the worksheet has been grouped together. So I'm going to come to this edge and select all the content in this data sheet here. And then in the home tab of the ribbon, under the editing group, I'm going to see this fill. And then I'm going to choose fill across worksheets. Now by default, if we do not group sheets together, you're going to see this blanked out. But because we have applied group sheet technique, it becomes readily available. So I'm going to click on that. Now we have three options. Now the first option is to fill all. The second one is to fill the content. Now let's play around and see fill content before we come to the first one. Now when I click OK and I come to, let's say sheet five, you can see now, now all the content has been filled to all the other four worksheets, which is amazing, but the formatings are not filled. And that's not what we wanted. Now I'm going to press Control Z, and when I come, you can see we have absolutely nothing again. Now I'm going to hold on the Shift key again, click on Sheet Five. Now all the sheets are grouped once again. Come to the 
fill and I want to fill across worksheets. Now, if I choose formats, it's going to fill all the formatting only. Now, let's play around and see. Click on that and I come to sheet five. You can see it only fill all the fill color and of course the borders, the all borders. Now, that's not what we wanted also. Control Z to undo the command now you can see we have nothing again so for the last time i'm going to hold the shift key click on shift 5 and then we want to fill all so fill across worksheets and we want to use the all now the all simply means all the content both the formatting and the content will automatically be filled to all the other sheets so when i click ok and i come here and i check it out you can see this is sheet 4 5 and this is two and that is quite amazing so we've been able to fill all the content across the multiple sheets i hope you enjoyed this video and probably if you've not seen this feature before please let me know thank you for watching and have a blessed evening bye bye